So what I have here is a uh, couple things that were designed by my friend Paul, CanvasMan34. You can find him on YouTube as well as eBay. I have a uh, six inch furnace here that Paul built. And I'm sure you've seen it. If uh, not, it's in a number of his videos. And what I'm doing right now is comparing the melting time um, from the six inch furnace to the peach can furnace. And I've got some 999 silver in the um, furnace right now. I'm just running propane off the of Burnsomatic TS8000, which is a, a really decent torch. Um, now for the molds that I'm using, they're gravity molds that Paul has built, and they are now with graphite uh, holders to keep the two-piece molds together. And I like this a lot better than the way it was set up. Um, it's a lot more stable so they don't go splitting because it had a metal band and when that metal band would get hot the metal bands would expand and the mold would come loose and metal would leak out into my furnace. So right now it's been about three minutes and the 999 silver has already started to go into liquid. I don't want to hold the camera over too long. But it's now liquid, everything is really hot inside of here. And I'm just using a piece of KO wool that I put over the top. And this makes for a nice, speedy, small, lightweight furnace that I like. And um, so far it is kicking this thing's butt. And the thing that's nice about this, however, is if I hook up two torches, this thing will haul ass and it will do a lot more metal. So you can do like a pound of silver in this in about 10, 15 minutes. <laughs> and here with the peach can furnace, which anybody can build, it's just a peach can and KO, that's all it is. Uh, and of course the graphite molds to hold the silver and the metal that you're going to melt. Um, it's so nice and lightweight that I can pretty much build this anywhere if I just pack uh, with me some KO wool or take the peach can furnace with me already built in my backpack when I'm out mining. And I can take some of the gold uh, plaster that I find that's really small and fine and melt that right down into an ingot and it's ready to go and I don't have to worry about any glass vials breaking. And I'll take my TS8000 torch with just a Coleman can of propane, which would hook up here, go right to the peach can furnace. And it's quick, it's easy, and um, yeah, this is a great design. Uh, another one he did was a squirrel cage. Let's see if I can show you there. We call it the squirrel cage because it's a uh, squirrel cage uh, fencing or wiring to keep squirrels out of stuff and some kale wool and uh, plaster. But anyways, this should be done. And it is. So what I'm going to do is turn my torch off and of course turn my propane tank off. I don't want to have any pressure inside the hose. but. Can see how nice and bright that gets and that's just running off propane and i've been able to melt a number of things very quickly it's very very hot so i'm going to let it cool down for a minute um, very easy to build um, i will put a link under the video to i, I believe he did a how-to video on how to build this furnace and his um, products are easily available if you email him or go to his ebay site and i'm going to help him get up his website pretty soon so you can just pick out the things that you want and um, I do suggest the gravity molds because if you're just working like me with propane this is the best setup by far especially when you're trying to get a nice mold so I'm going to cut now uh, let this cool off and I'll show you what the mold looks like um, after it's cooled down so I just removed the tops and the bottoms to the gravity mold and I'm going to see how this has uh, worked and uh, chuck it in the pickle so I need both hands for removing the top and the bottom. I'm hoping I didn't let it sit too long. So I need to be able to get that out. So, oops. And what I do is I just end up taking these hot pieces of graphite mold and throwing them over there to cool. Now I'll take that. You can see it's a nice little lingot. Still very soft. And the cool thing is, is if you got a little bit more silver, or a little bit more to melt while this peach can is still hot, you can take your next mold, chuck it in, and let it roar. 
And uh, usually that's what I'd be doing, but I just wanted to try out that particular ingot mold, and I've got a few different ones. Um, just got a few different ones that I have, and uh, I really shouldn't be using these tongs in the pickle, but that's what we're doing. If you're going to use a pickle, get um, get copper tongs. A little bit of uh, baking soda will help neutralize the pickle acid. So it's it's not too bad. It's a little it's a little rough and a little bit crude, but for what I'm going to use this piece for, I'm going to hammer it down into a large or a long bar and uh, make some stuff out of it. But yeah, we'll do another test and we'll we'll try another ingot and clip that off, obviously, and throw it into the next bit. Oh, and I'll do a review of the six-inch furnace next.